Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you're here today. Hope you've had a great week and things are going your way. Today I'm working on a little, it's, it's sort of like a, just a reminder card to put into my horse journal. I've got some goals that I'm setting, I'm taking a horse off to a clinic and I sort of want to start focusing on some particular goals and and I have three goals, two months to accomplish them with one horse. And since I have all these great numbers, this works out great for the challenge over at the Outlaws, Anything Goes in a Card-Free Zone. So we love all kinds of projects, just no greeting cards. You can do trading cards, you could do bookmarks, you can anything, anything, pottery, sewing, anything. It doesn't even have to be a paper craft. So come join us. Our theme this month is optional. So if you want to follow the numbers theme, great. If not, that's okay too. So you'll find down here, I have the... Uh, the address where you can join us. I'll also link it below. All right, so here is my project and there's a back to this and here is the back. And so with no further ado, let's get started on this project. As always, I like to start in Cricut Design Space and just get my cuts ready if I have die cuts and get the designing done on it. So what I have here is I have this horse with a cowgirl and that's from MEM SVG Supply. My word font is ITC Golden Type Standard Original. My numbers are from Old West and these um, tag shape is from Old West. All of that is in Cricut. It's in the Cricut Access or Cricut Library. So you'll find it all by coming over to images and clicking, you'll find everything. There are just a couple of things I wanna point out that you might not know how to do. Obviously, um, most of this is pretty simple here in Cricut Design Space, so I won't go over everything. But what I did is I brought in my numbers um, you can do that a couple of ways. You can either just type them in and then choose your font, or you can go over to the Old West. You could type in like the number three, for example, and um, that would take a long time probably to find it in the Old West because every single cartridge, well, not every single one, but a lot of them have numbers. So, it would probably be easiest just to come in and type in text, type in a three, then come up here and say you want Old West. And there you go, those are your Old West choices. And I chose the, just the multi-layer Old West, I believe. And there it is. That's how simple that is. Okay, this is from Old West. And what I did is I simply brought this image in, sized it where I wanted it. And remember, you can size with these toggles. You can pull this way and that way. If you wanna change width, you can do that. And you can also change height going that way. I don't like something you did? Simple. Just come up here to your back arrow and you can go back to where you started. I'll leave our three alone though, but, but we'll move it over here, get it out of the way. So I've brought this in, sized it where I want it. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate it. I right click and say duplicate. So there it is. And so now I have one for the front and one for the back. The one for the back, I'm not gonna do anything to it, so I can just set it aside, all right? So this is my one for the back here, and I'm just gonna set it aside. Now I brought in my 
horse heart here, and that's horse with cowgirl. First thing I want to do is size it where I like it. Now, there's a problem here because as you can see, I'll bring it to the front, you can see through this. And I have made this into a die cut that you cannot see through. See how you can't see through that? So that I could place it right on top of there as an individual die cut. So if you choose to do that and not print it directly onto here, here is how you do it. You select it, come up to um, offset, and just slide this down to zero. Or you could slide it, if you'd like a little more white around it, you can move it up a little bit, and I believe I did, to about right there. And I'm gonna say, apply, click apply. All right, so here it is. Now you're thinking, well, that didn't help us at all. Actually, it's okay, because we can go down to contour, hide all contours, X, and there it is. Let's change it to white. We can make it any color we like. Select them both. Align, center, and I'm left clicking that with my mouse. Now I'm gonna come down and left click this flatten. And now I have this. So we're done with that. We have a nice clean die cut. So we've got our numbers. We've got our die cut here. All right. Next, let's talk about getting the font here. Um, all I did there was I just simply typed in the goals, months, horse, and just put it on and flattened. That's all I did with that. Now, to get this piece, which is a basic cut, and that's what I cut. Let's bring this picture back. I cut this gray close to my heart paper. Um, it has a wood pattern on it. All I did is I offset this piece. So I came up, clicked offset, sized it up to where I liked it, hit apply, and then all I had to do was cut, and it was done. Now this one's turning out rounded. Let's take a look at something for a second. Let's move that off. Let's offset this again, and let's change our corner, and notice how it changes it. Right? Isn't that fun? So just keep that in mind if you want it more rounded or if you want it more squared off like I have in mine, you can change that a little bit. Okay? All right. So I think that covers everything I did. We covered the text, we covered the numbers, we covered the offset. Um, and again, this is just a basic cut and I just put the paper in. So that's how I ended up with that paper. All right, let's go ahead, head over to the craft table. Let's put this together. All right, here we are at the craft table. This is a pretty easy put together. Here are all the pieces that we cut and from Cricut Design Space. And there's the one, see it, print and cut our goals, months, and horse on there. So that's already there. I'm putting together my collection of different colors of ink I might want to use. And since watching people ink like this is sort of like watching paint dry, I'm going to fast forward really quickly through this. Just know that I went over all of my pieces with some cashmere and this light, um, just kind of off-white light tan ink. Now I'm gonna start stamping over the front and I'm gonna stamp right over my verbiage here. I'm, I have a collection here of close to my heart stamps that I think will be good, some with numbers and some with just horse theme. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little ruler in there. Now I'm coming in with some chicken wire and just stamping around. And I'll put a little bit of this on the front of my 
card tag. I'm not really sure what to call this really. Um, but we'll just call it a tag. Just going along the front and the back with that one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some um, farm theme stamps here. I'm gonna bring in this pretty horse. I have lots of close to my heart stamps and I do not stamp nearly as often as I should. So we brought in that little horse and now this is a really old, old stamp here. Uh, this authentic and genuine stamps. I did the authentic in blue and now I'm bringing in this flourish and just sort of putting this feathery flourish all around. I'm just filling in space. Um, this part is going to be the part where I'm going to actually journal or write some things down. So I'm going to be putting some lines over that anyway. On this one, I'm just filling space just to add some interest for background. And you can see I've brought in some more uh, stamps. This is a verbiage stamp. It says think. And now I'm bringing in a little floral here and bringing that in in some blues. I believe the color is twilight. I'm sure it's retired by now. And I'm just stamping around again, just filling space, adding a bit of color to my tag. Now that I have all of my stamping in place, I'm going to add a piece of very light wood veneer. And to cut this, I'm just going to line up a ruler on a cutting mat and I'm just going to use a straight edge razor blade and slice right down the edge. I did end up sanding that just a little bit. I didn't record that, but I did sand it a bit. I'm going to go ahead now and lay this out a little bit, see what it's going to look like. And my little numbers are going to go on the top here. I'm just sort of getting an idea here. How is this going to work as I lay this out? Although I did put it all together in Cricut Design Space, sometimes in reality, it doesn't work quite the way I thought it was going to. So I always sort of try to check things out before I actually start adhering. I'm going to come in and here's another place where things didn't work quite the way I thought it was going to. I'm just pressing this into my uh, big and bossy embossing pad. Now I'm going to cover with some um, embossing powder. It's a kind of a turquoisey blue, and I'm just sort of sliding those off, not being very neat or clean about it today. And when I went to heat emboss, my three turned out beautiful, but my two and my one, for some reason, I don't know if it was too hot or my powder might be old. I don't know, but I came up with these white places and remember, the cardstock was blue to start with. So I went over it with a little bit of brown and just kind of made it rustic looking. So I let the white show through and kind of embraced it. Here I've got an old die cut that was laying on the table. Um, I, I'm not even sure where this die cut came from. I mean, I, I made it in Cricut Design Space, but I it's so long ago, I, I couldn't tell you. I made it for another project and inked it up in the turquoise a long time ago, found it and decided, okay, I'm going to use that. So here I'm just sort of playing with the um, edges here and curling them just to give it a little more dimension. Now that I have that curled up a little bit, I'm just adding a little drop of uh, adhesive there and now I'm going to add a little blue gem. Now it's time to bring in that piece of wood that we cut. I've also cut a piece of um, lace the same length approximately and I'm going to come in now and I'm going to color that because I felt like it was just a little stark white for me and in a second you'll be able to see that there just is a slight difference there just very slight all right we're going to go ahead and glue that in with some fabric tack and once that is glued in then we'll be ready to adhere that now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my fabric tack and put my die cut in place. I'm placing it so that the left side of the heart is pretty close to the center of this tag. I'm going to go ahead now, add some double side tape and fabric tack and glue that into place. 
coming back with the Ranger Mixed Media Glue, and I'm gonna glue in my numbers now, my 321. They've been heat embossed, and they've been a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of brown ink added over that white. So now we have a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, and a little bit of brown, so it looks a little rustic. All right, I'm gonna put a black on top of that so it can dry, and I'm adding some double stick tape here along with some fabric tack. And I'm gonna adhere a piece of folded over ribbon. And then I'm gonna add another piece of double stick tape there, and double score, and add a little fabric tack, and now add my floral embellishment. I'm gonna sort of sketch in a little circle there where I want my eyelet to go. I'll pull in my crocodile and just punch that hole right over the pencil mark. I'm going to go ahead and set the eyelet and I will then add a strip of burlap to that. And I'm just going to run it straight through the eyelet and then just tie it there at the top with some brown and cream diagonally striped ribbon. I'll go ahead and trim that ribbon. And then I'm gonna add a paper clip and this will just clip right into my horse journal where I keep some of my plans and goals and, and just different ideas for training and such. But I'm not quite done with this tag. I've decided I wanna add this long strip of, um, it's just little turquoise colored stones. They're not actually turquoise, but they're that color. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. I so appreciate your time. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below and I will get back to you. Also, the link for our challenge is there. So come join us. Anything goes except greeting cards. Have a great week. Bye.